Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Florida. And today our question comes to us from Casamondo. And Casamondo does not exactly have a question, but rather a comment that I thought was worth commenting upon in return. And Casamondo remarked in response to a recent vlog that the process of raising and grounding energy reminds them of the idea of allocating and deallocating memory in computers. And what I wanted to say about this is that, one, I think that's a very apt comparison, and two, comparisons to how computers work are both very common in metaphysics today and I think very relevant. And the things that we see in how computers work often shed a light on how metaphysics works, on how the energies of the soul interact with the created world. I recently talked about how a computer avatar was very comparable to how the soul uses the brain to express itself in the incarnational world, for example. And I think this is true of a lot of things. Now, it's also worth bearing in mind that the metaphysical ideas are not new. They have not developed in response to developments in technology, but rather predate them. The technology is what has changed. And we're finding relevance in those changes to these much older ideas. And I think that's a very interesting thing to remark upon, a very interesting thing to see in the world. And I think that if you study the way that computers work, the way particularly that the internet works, that computer avatars work, it will shed a lot of light on your understanding of certain parts of metaphysics. And personally, I don't think that's a coincidence. I think that these things have taken shape in response to our earlier understandings. And I believe that we create the world from within. And the more that we understand, the more that can be expressed in the world around us. The deeper our spiritual understandings become, the more our physical world will reflect them. And I often talk about being midwives of the new age, about building a better world. This is one of the many different ways in which we do that. The more that our spirituality grows, the more our understanding grows, the more that our understanding of both the spiritual and the physical world will interact and will express more and more of spirit in the physical. So that's what I wanted to say for today, and I want to say that I think this really is a lot of why we're here in this world. That it is a desire of deity to express spirit through matter. And the world of matter has certain properties of its own, one of which is transformation. Things grow and change here in a way that is different than in the spiritual realm. And I think that's a lot of why it was created, and a lot of the purpose that it serves, and a lot of why we are here. So make the most of it. And let's all make the most of it in creating a better world. So those would be my thoughts for today. I hope you find them helpful. And until next time, may you blessed be. Pray for peace. Pray for love. Pray for stability. Pray for the nation where you live. Pray for the world. Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from witchschool.com. Are you looking for the best in pagan and magical education? With more than 12,000 pages, witchschool.com is like having your own personal library with individual learning assistants to help you study. And Witchschool's Anyone, Anytime, Anywhere education system is available any place on Earth, anywhere you are and anytime you want it, as long as you have an internet connection. Witchschool's lifetime memberships are a great value. They really do last a lifetime. They've been there for years and they'll be there for years to come. So get your membership today at witchschool.com.